Hi, my name is Dave Young from the Visalar Training Group. One of the things that is real important in any type of survival is being aware of your surroundings and knowing your escape route couldn't be farther from the truth. Making sure that not only do you know your escape routes, but you're able to physically get to them. If you were in your 60s and 70s, I doubt climbing over a six or eight foot fence is gonna do you any good when maybe going under the fence might be a better option. Or maybe not even picking the fence at all and looking at a sharp corner where there's an open door where you may be able to get inside and close and lock yourself in safely. If you're uh, out in a park in a playground, it, knows, it helps to know what kind of car you're driving. So if you happen to be playing by yourself and you see someone come over that you really don't want to confront and you're trying to learn an escape route, maybe you can go hide and lock yourself in the keys with your car and then start beeping your horn so it draws attention to your location. If you happen to be playing uh, football or soccer and you're in an open field, it might be nothing more than running to the next field over where there's another group of people so they can help you be safe. I doubt if you're, able to go, if you're going to be able to be in a park and your escape route is a mile and a half up the road. A mile and a half is long for anyone to run. So make sure that whenever you're playing in a playground or you're ever you're in a mall or you're in a park or you're someplace that you know you're not familiar with, pick an escape route and say to yourself, if something was to happen to me or happen right here, where would I go that would be safe? 